cell phone policy at Susquehanna Township Middle School. Acceptable use of your cell phone. You may carry your phone or device on your person throughout the day as long as the phone or device is powered off. You may use your cell phone or device in the cafeteria during lunch as long as you have earbuds or AirPods in use. You may use your cell phone or device in class for educational purposes only with the teacher's permission. Teachers have the discretion to determine when phones and use throughout the class period. Not acceptable. You may not have visible phones or devices in the hallways or classrooms without permission. Phones may not be seen or heard unless permission is granted. This is especially becoming an issue in the hallway. No phones should be in the hallways during transitions. You may not use your phone or device during instructional time without permission of the teacher. You may not use your device in any disruptive manner in the school. You may not take pictures or videos of any other student, teacher, parent, or faculty member within the building. And you may not use your phone or device in any manner that violates the student code of conduct, the acceptable use policy, and or the bullying policy. The remainder of this will be your only warning about consequences. Please make sure you pay attention. Consequences for your cell phone in class and in school. Your first offense, the phone is taken and take, put in the main office. You as the student can pick it up at the end of the day on your way out of the building. On your second offense, the phone is taken and put in the main office. A parent or guardian then at the end of the day. On your third offense, the phone will be taken and put in the office. A parent or guardian will have to come and pick it up and the student will serve a detention. On the fourth and fifth offense, the phone is taken and put in the main office. A parent must come and pick up the phone and you will serve a day of ISS for every violation then thereafter. Examples of unacceptable use include, but are not, in limited, are not limited to the following. Usage in the restrooms or hallways. That's really gross, guys. Just don't do it. Usage during instructional time. Be sure to pay attention instead. Calling parents to come pick you up without obtaining permission from the nurse or per office personnel. We have a phone in the guidance office for this purpose. Cheating of any kind. Cyberbullying of any kind. Sexting of any kind. Taking pictures or videos in the school of any kind. And using phones in place of school business. Please make sure that you do not do any of these items. There is a zero tolerance policy related to cell phone and device violations. What this means is you are expected to surrender your phone when asked without complaint or pushback. Not surrendering, surrendering your phone to the adult requesting it will put immediate request to an office referral for defiance. So again, please follow the guidelines and do what you're asked. Just as a simple review, where can you have your phone? In the stairs and halls, no. In the classroom, yes, with the teacher's permission. In the cafeteria, yes, with earbuds or AirPods. In the bathroom or locker room, no. In your pocket or bag, Yes, as long as it is not visible and powered off. In the gym, no. In the library, yes, with the teacher's permission or Ms. Hall's permission, but most often if it's powered off. STMS is not responsible for lost, stolen, or damaged personal cell phones or devices. 